Microsoft plans to unveil new Xbox bundles and accessories at Gamescom next month. Rumor has it a new console, codenamed Scarlet, may launch in 2020. It's unlikely that an entirely new console will be part of next month's showcase, but Microsoft promises plenty of other exciting features and surprises. The Gamescom lineup will include 25 games from Xbox developers across the globe, like Forza Horizon 4 and Will of the Wisps. State of Decay 2's Daybreak Pack, a new PUBG mode, and possibly even a new limited edition Xbox One X are expected to debut as well. Microsoft will broadcast live from Gamescom on August 21st at 7.30 a.m. Pacific, so get up, make a huge pot of coffee, and be awake for it all. If you don't need caffeine to be up that early because you're naturally one of those weirdly optimistic, high on life and full of energy type people, good for you. I don't trust you, and I think you're probably a space alien or a replicant, but good for you. Dragon Ball Fighters is getting some powerful new additions with next month's update. Base Goku and Base Vegeta will be added to the roster of fighters when the DLC launches in August. Base Goku can use Kaioken, which allows them to perform a quick chain of attacks. It'll be perfect for when you want to avoid an entire season's worth of charging your spirit bomb. Base Vegeta's Gallic Gun, super special, can fire energy at the ground and can be used in mid-air. He's also got a Galaxy Breaker attack, which discharges energy from his whole body. Dragon Ball Fighters comes to the Nintendo Switch this September and is currently available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. An open beta for Switch version is on the way next month. I don't watch Dragon Ball, so I hope all of that made perfect sense to at least some of you. A fan-created remake of the famous Silent Hills playable teaser has been shut down by Konami. 17-year-old developer Quimzar was working on bringing the PT remake to PC when the project was halted due to legal issues. Others have attempted to remake PT since Konami pulled the plug in the game back in 2015. So not only did we get robbed of the Guillermo del Toro-led project starring a playable Norman Reedus, but the fan-made version as well. In a surprisingly positive twist, Konami offered Quimzar an internship after seeing his remake and being impressed by his work. They also sweetened the deal with some merch and games for their budding developer. So none of us get to play the PT remake and the guy working on it gets a free t-shirt. That's some Konami ass bullshit right there. Oh, and this is not a drill. San Diego Comic-Con coverage starts tomorrow, July 19th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific. It's viewable right here at IGN and on any of our apps, so our schedule is incredibly packed with super exciting updates on everything from DuckTales to Captain Marvel. Be sure to tune in. I wrote a bunch of the stuff in the live show script. It's really weird and really funny, and they didn't cut any of my weird jokes about horses and stuff, which means Max or Jackie or Sydney or Damon will legally be required to read them, and that's gonna be really funny. So jokes on them and on you if you're watching. Thank you. And that's your daily fix for July 18th. Now that you're all caught up, check out our review of Adventure Time, Pirates of the Enchiridion. We gave it a 5.8. So I'm sure you're just dying to read that. With that, I'm Brian Altano. Don't forget to download the IGN app, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. And remember, I love you. It's true, I do. Ask around, I got the marriage license. It's you and me, buddy, I'm doing it. <laughs>